My name is Terry Bell, and I'm here to tell you about an amazing art called Shote. That's where, when a person comes in, we don't want you to tell us anything. We will look at your eyes, tongue, and teeth, and do a muscle test and tell you what's happening. The muscle testing is amazing. If I touched your heart and pressed on your arm, and it was strong, it means you have a strong heart. But if I touched your heart and pressed on your arm and it went weak, it tells me something's wrong with the heart. The reading of the eyes, the tongue and the teeth, you look for little specks or spots. A white speck would tell you mucus is starting to form. A chronic speck would tell us it's getting pretty serious. We have a chart and I would, this is what the chart would look like. And on the top here it has majors on the bottom capacities. On the majors up here we want these numbers to be under 10. For instance, the bowel, you want it to be under 10% congested or otherwise you could get puffed, bloated, gastric, burping and so on. On the bottom, we want, it's a capacity. Now that the organ or gland is clean, how good is it working? The capacity of the thyroid, you want the capacity of your thyroid not at 30 or you're going to be really tired, you want it at 90. We keep a score sheet and it tells you what herbs to take and what foods to stay off of. Only two things can make you sick. An excess of one, that's like a cow eating meat. And for me, it would be the wrong food, would be corn or potatoes. The other one is a deficiency of another. Like if you're deficient in iodine, you may get tired, toss and turn at night. It may trigger headaches, heart palpitations, cold hands, cold feet. It'll take about 20 minutes to do this test. And we'll tell you how you feel, think, and where your pain is and what we can start doing to get you back on track. So remember, your health is your greatest wealth outside salvation. This next little demonstration will show you some eyes, tongue and teeth and will show you how we can tell you what's happening by pictures and a muscle test. So if you're sick or just don't feel good, look for a Shote practitioner in your area at show-tay.ca. Okay, look it up on the internet, show-tay.ca. Thank you, Terry Bell. Hello, my name is Terry Bell, and I'm just gonna demonstrate muscle testing, because some people perceive it as witchcraft, and it's not, it's all to do with electrical. Around the person's heart, there's electricity flowing around each organ or gland. Around her heart is just about 100%. It's over 90. Around her thyroid, it's at 70%. So when I get her to extend her arm and hold it strong, and I give it a flick, her heart's good and strong. Now I touch her thyroid, the arm drops, and it'll drop all the way. But it'll drop, try hold that as hard as you can, it'll drop part way, okay? And it'll stop right there. And you can try this at home. Get, hold on to an orange and get somebody to press on your arm. Hold on to poison and get somebody to just press on your arm. And watch, it'll go weak. Your body recognizes it that fast. I'll be running through in a sequence on your body what's wrong with you. And at the end, I'll tell you how you feel, think where your pain is. I not only will do that, I will look at your eyes, your tongue, your teeth, and your ears. And this is how we assess people. We can also assess why you are gaining weight or losing. And what's happening in the body, an enzyme is off. So a diet that works for you might not work for somebody else. It's a very easy test to do. Never tell us what's wrong with you. We'll tell you how you feel, think where your pain is. We'll see you soon. This is Terry Bell. Her teeth go in on the back. It means she's a perfectionist. They have to work better and harder to get it better all the time. They're round, so they're good for organizing. Oh, wow, eh? Dirty blood. Check the bones for things like leukemia. But they definitely have a problem in the lymph. And look at that dirty brown dot. Check that organ or gland. That's the bowel that has a serious problem. The next one, this is a serious bowel problem. It's gone flat and it is getting very chronic and that's just a young person. 
They have to get on it and stay on it, change their diet. This is right over here. This is in the kidney, but this represents the knee. There's pressure on the knee. They have infection in the bladder and the kidney. These little lines tell me that the circulation is slowing down in that system. Orange under here, there's too many sweets in their life. And they say, I don't eat sweets. The body recognizes starch as a sugar. This represents the bowel. And look right here. Right there, that kink. And on either side, that's the stomach. This part from here to down here is the small intestine. Now look right there. Brown is in the corner, means that means poor circulation. The liver is not producing enough enzymes so the small intestine can digest. Now we got a lot of stuff going on here. Up the spine right here, person has arthritis. They have cysts in their bowel and all over. They have gray pocket in the liver and plugged arteries, the main arteries to the heart, see that? They're also bleeding a little bit from the lung. Here's a person that chokes all the time. Here's some more plugged arteries, gray blood. Here's fat in the arteries again. They have to cut back on fat. But you look over here, this is the lymphatic system and it's turned black, it's starting to get chronic. Remember, gray is not bad. It starts to get black, you have a few months before you end up with a big C. Brown is all over on the lips, look at circulation is low in this bowel and the next one is see this sheets that's a virus infection in the bowel and the small intestine is really affected they're sick they even got it in the small intestine if you look close look they've got that virus in the small intestine now imagine you're not you're going to change your necking habits for the next 50 years when you see this picture it looks horrible. He's got infection in his leg that's gone into the hip. And look at the roots of his joints and everything are starting to deteriorate. That means sore joints, muscles, or bones. Why do I have sore joints? I got one foot bigger than the other, one leg longer than the other, worn out, and then the other one has gray in it. The blood is dirty. They have aneurysms, blockages all through the system. Horrible. But look at right, even the false teeth. Horrible condition, he's gotta get that all out of there. This person, his ear is showing back, it means his neck is jammed, and this kid is pr prone to headaches constantly. Hair on there, he's eating too much meat and fatty foods. This one is the heart, you say a young person, how would they have a heart problem? See the nose is flat, it means something is putting pressure on the heart. And that's also a hereditary heart. It means there's heart problems in the family. It's not impossible to have a heart problem. I had a heart attack at 15 years old. Remember five things that you need for a healthy diet. First of all, good water, a good source of food with no chemicals, a good source of vitamins and minerals, exercise, and the last one is a good sleep. You can't say no stress because life is stress. This is Terry Bell. Thank you. A lot of people have a misconception about Chote. What we do, we do muscle testing and narrow down what's wrong in the body. But there's other ways of analyzing the body. One of them is the eye, the tongue, the teeth. You could also use feet like reflexology. But on this eye chart, if you look here, the eye, you read it like a clock. And if you've seen a dot here at 6.30, it would tell me you had a problem with your kidney. Depending on the color of the dot, if the dot is black, it's chronic. If it's orange, it means the pancreas is affecting the kidney. And if it's yellow, you just have a kidney problem. That's the eye. When we look at the next chart here, which is the tongue, the tongue has also got a map to it. And when you go down the tongue, up the middle of the tongue is the spine. On the sides are the lungs, and it's exactly laid out like the body is. That's the top of the tongue. But when you go under the tongue, it goes into more detail. You can see the spine, you can see cyst tumors, fibroids, cancer, diseases developing in the body. And the last unique one here, there's a few others. There's ears, nose, face, and everything. But the teeth, it took me a while to put this together and figure it out. But the teeth even represent every organ or gland. So if the teeth turn gray, it means poor elimination.
If your teeth turn blue, it means they're low on oxygen. If your teeth turn yellow, it means you're starting to ache because you're holding urine. Now you turn this over, and also the teeth tell you each cervical in your back and neck all the way around the body, what bones it represents. So the more you use these sheets, which I'll be going through a demonstration, I'll show you some eyes, tongue, teeth. It's very easy to narrow down what's happening in your body. Then I do a muscle test and see what you need to take. So you're not taking a pile of herbs when you only need one or two. Thank you very much. I, uh, two years ago, spoke with, spoke with Terry because I wasn't feeling healthy. I said to him that I'm, I was stressed, but I was also feeling uh, lethargic and tired and feeling sick just all around. And I wanted to see him. And so I was introduced to Terry Bell and Show Tai. So he started testing me and I just started crying. And I said, thank you, Lord, because you know what? I've been telling the doctor how I felt for how many years and they couldn't find anything. Like, well, they can find stuff, but I mean, <clears throat> she didn't understand exactly. And, and after uh, visiting him and having him look at me and read what my body was telling him through Shotai, I was given some herbs and such that I was asked to take for six weeks. And I, made, I immediately noticed a difference. I get a phone call, and it was my insurance gentleman. I rated in the top two and three percent. In other words, he said that I was healthy like a 20-year-old or an athlete, and I was neither. I like to exercise. I don't consider myself an athlete. Take a number of other herbs for sore joints. Right now I'm taking the, the potassium that I got from him because my muscles were getting sore after a period of time. It takes about two weeks to get into your system. The new muscles all start to soup up and uh, the soreness all leaves them, so. I started sending folks that were sick to Terry. And I've had folks with kidney problems on the verge of dialysis um, come and after six weeks see their doctor. And the doctor said, you know, your, your, your kidneys are, are coming back. So Terry Bell, what I love about Shote is when you go see Terry, you don't have to tell him nothing. He's going to test you and he's going to tell you how you feel and that's awesome. You don't have to wait for a six month test at the hospital or anything like that. You know, he can test you, tell you exactly what's wrong and treat you with herbs, natural products. You know, there's not many people today that grow gardens that put herbs in their gardens. There's not many that do that, but you can grow a lot of these things. You know, I love eating stuff out of a garden. I love eating Swiss chard. I love eating this stuff, and but nobody grows it anymore. My old ancestors, they would just go in the bush and dig in the ground and pull up a root and bring it out, you know, for a cold or for a pneumonia or anything like that. Or they'd go and pick bark off of a tree. And, I mean, it's a, that's, the, that's herbs, and I, I believe we have to get back to that way of living. We can't go to the drugstore and get them prescription drugs because there's 20 side effects usually after them, you know. You don't get that off of herbs. And I want to hear that you know about my body and that you're not going to ask me to take something that I don't need. I don't want guesses, I, I want answers. <laughs>